Welcome. Hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a construction review, and this one is on on the other three of the uh, Legends of Chima buildable figure sets from 2013, of course. Yes, so on the front of the bags of which we have the Lego Legends of Chima logo and a little bit of their uh, mini fake counterpart faces in the corner there. And then picture of the set in action, but with a red glow around them. Since, of course, how for the ones from last last throwback Thursday, which had a blue glow for them. But of course, representing good and evil, of course. There's Enwi, which has the like age recommendation, name, set number, amount of pieces, and down below their names, of course. And on the back side, which have all the sets in a different position, and along with actual size with of their head pieces, and also a little comic strip of their mini fake counterparts, oh, which placing chi and turning into their chi forms, of course, and and also the combination models, of course. Now onto the instruction manuals, which as you see, same pictures as on the front of the bags, of course. Or on the back, I went on the on survey out of the Lego Club and something for the Chima's website. And then add for couple of figures and all the with some of the system sets that there were at the time. And then out of all the Jima build a figure sets that there were. Uh, Laval and Krager clashing and also the combination model that there is. And the pieces that come with the set and the final building steps. with this one advertisement for the Hero Factory Wave 2 sets also from summer 2013 of course which I previously reviewed for Throwback Thursday So now on to the sets. First one is G Cracker here. Which as you can see for the build done of which kind of unique and different than most of CCBS figures previously. Although it does have as a little extended of the uh, head neck area, but a little bit more on that later, but yeah. So on starting from the ground up, like always. Is that the feet here? That the feet. Just the typical all black uh, bonicle parak feet, of course. But also, as you notice, are the uh, CCBS bone pieces. These uh, two joint ones, but in olive green. Oh, which nice to see. Oh. Also good to use for mocking, of course. 
and also for the lower legs here, as you can see, which are the three long armor pieces, but in dark green, like we saw on uh, Ogrum and from Wave 1 of Brain Attack, of course, and also the friction joint pieces, obviously for stability of all his weight, of course. As for the chest plate, of which in dark green, traditional kind in dark green, also like we had with Ogrum for that, and also the upper chest plate piece, like we see on most of the sets, of which with the chi uh, crystal and power going flowing through it, but also with some red markings as well, since of course it's the evil side of which. And as for the arms here, kind of similar to the legs, but in, but also lead to the hand pieces, but also in all of green, of course. As for this uh, staff weapon, comprised mostly the, a whole bunch of connector bits in brown, and also leading up to these uh, two blade pieces, one two in uh, dark gunmetal gray, one in red. Well, both of which we've seen previously on uh, Frost Beast and Hero Factory, but at least nice to see in, in different colors here, too. And of course, little chain on here as well. On the other side, which just one for that. But, oh, whatever. Well, alright. But it's alright. But as for this uh, upper area, which it's comprised of two different uh, chest plate pieces, and of course, those have extra bone pieces here that kind of extend his neck area, which probably to make me get that to work, obviously. And as for the head piece, which you can definitely use on some uh, crocodile locks if you wanted. But our the sculpting of which done quite good, but he was only one out of all these figures that has a movable uh, jaw going on. And just like with Laval, is he which won that that he which was also reused in the uh, Fire Chi line of figures that were exclusive to America, or I mean exclusive to Europe, but never America, of course. But however, on that one, where it was the same piece of which, but instead with a gold crown piece to it, and the eyes in blue, since storyline-wise, the following year, two years, Crager turned good, of course. <coughs> and as for the backside of which, there's chest plate pieces again, but also for the tail here, which is comprised of just a couple of limb pieces and an extra ball joint piece in there, which leads to a the uh, Lego Ben 10 tail piece, but in dark green, which is great to see here. Even though the only other time we've ever seen this piece is in, was in one of the Speed Wars sets from the time. But at least, still nice to see that. So the articulation of him done quite well. And at least with one extra bit, which is the jaws again, of course, but yeah. And that's it with Krager. Now on to Razor. Which, from first glance, you can see that the build of which quite the same as Eris, but instead of being all white and gold, instead is black Silver and purple, of course. Quite fitting to all the ravens. So, starting out with the legs here. As you can see. <coughs> it was quite simplistic of most figures, like the black paraka feet, and also size 5 armor pieces in both silver and black. 
and also a couple of spikes coming out on the side bits. And as for the chest plate piece, or two pieces for that, which are under piece of it in black and also the on top kind of parts, which does have some nice purple printing to it, of course. And the arms of which also quite simplistic, but also with pieces in purple, like the Joker figure from uh, 2012, of course. It does have the uh, mini axes in both hands, but although below which are the usual chain pieces, but although I think you could, I think a just one more piece on both of them would could have been, been a little better, but although you can add that on if you wanted, but yeah, but also as as you see, same exact blade piece as we had with Eris, but in but this time in red, of course. And so as for the uh, head piece, which he's sculpting on it, done quite well for that, like with the red eyes in there, and also see plenty of like bolting for the crown kind of bit over his beak, of course, and also a bit of sculpting for the feathers in there. And as for the wings here, which look just about like Eris's, but also, but with the new wing pieces, well, new for the time, uh, in both black and also in purple, of course. Oh, which nice to see and use for mocking. As for the back side of which, there's not much of anything going on, but plenty of exposure for that. <coughs> but at least has an extended limb piece for the neck kind of area instead of a short one like Eris did and his articulation posability just a quite standard of any figures of course and that is it for Razor and now on finally on to Juarez where he for first glance looks just about kind of close to that of Laval's but but he, of course, a wolf instead of a lion, like Laval quite is. But of course, kind of the same, but with some recolors for that. Like the legs of which comprise the pieces, the foot pieces and armor pieces in both silver and a gunmetal gray color, and also the five size five armor pieces, but in a dark red. Which kind of like as we had with uh, Pyrox in uh, Wave 1 of Brain Attack in Hero Factory, of course. And then above is the, with the chest plate pieces. Like, under half is in silver, but also <coughs> the same exact add-on uh, chest plate piece as most of the sets, but with the cheek crystal in, but also with some dark red uh, prints on it, of course. And as for the uh, arms here, of which also the same exact pieces as on the legs, but and also those like icicle pieces that we saw on Frost Beast in the uh, Wave Two of Hero Factory Brain Attack, of course. But however, but now in gray, but represent used as fur on him, obviously, like we saw on Laval and Gorez or Gorzon, and also. Those Hero Factory pot pieces in a uh, solid gray, like we saw on Bruiser, also in Hero Factory, of course. And same kind of effect as the Vault did. But however, the sword piece, the witch, comprised of another one of those newer style sword pieces, just like what Krager just had, and also the new sword piece for both this and Hero Factory, of course, but in red. Great to see and use for mocking, but also this did come in one Hero Factory poly bag, but also the same poly bag that had a brain bug piece in black, of course. Uh, other arm of which, kind of the same stuff for that, kind of the same thing for that, but also 
unlike the vault with the traditional shield piece, instead has a saw blade piece which does well spin around the course. But also is fully detachable, which where that can go on, also later. <coughs> but as for the head piece of which I say the sculpting on it done quite uh, goodly, like all the fur of which uh, with the lines for the fur done quite good. The teeth also done good. Eyes also nice, but also the nose and the slashes in the eyes of which printed on, which are all printed on and they're done quite nicely. But all I'm sure you can figure out how to use this with some like uh, wolf mocks it if you could or werewolf uh, wolf or werewolf mocks if you wanted. But backstory, which same kind of thing as the vol also had, with an extra uh, torso piece on there, just to slide the uh, shield piece onto, obviously, and can, you can store it with that. And so now on to the final verdict. So for my overall verdict, I think these which are quite good sets. Like, do you get like they're good parts packs with a few uh, different colored pieces. Like obviously Cragger with limb pieces in all green and dark green, and same with Razar in with some purple for him. But also, of course, all of which with the weapon sword pieces in red which are major pluses, and also as for $15 each at back then, well, I think they quite good for how they work. Like the price for piece of which done is still fair enough for that. Even though they kind of lack in actual functions, but unless if you can wrap your head around that, well, still kind of workable. And again, Still good parts packs for that, but yeah. <clears throat> but although comparing to their uh, minifigure counterparts that came in some of the sets at the time, well, at least they still kind of will capture that, but even though Razar should have instead have an actual hook for a hand instead of a whole separate hand, of course. And also, if only that some of these of which had capes like they do as minifigures, but maybe that would have been a little too much, but yeah. But as is, I can still forgive it, but yeah. And that's about it with this review. And, and so if any of you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still are looking to get these sets, well, definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that's about it for this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.